Ciao, my friends. We're here at the entrance of uh, Chapultepec Park in Mexico City. So today we are going to show you around the park. It's one of the biggest city parks in the world. Two times as big as Central Park. Within the park, they actually have a number of different great places to see. One of them is the castle. The castle was actually built when Mexico City was colonized, and it was the residence for the heads of state for Mexico for many years. First section is where the majority of the attractions are if you want to come visit. Um, that includes the Anthropology Museum, the Chapultepec Castle, the lake, the Museum of Modern Art, and a number of other attractions. The other section is actually over in that direction which has an amusement park as well as an, a children's museum and a natural history museum. So we're going to take you through section one today to show you all of the really great things that you can do here in uh, Chapultepec Park. So come on, let's go check it out. Chapultepec Castle in the gardens behind the castle. This castle was built in colonial times and has served many purposes. It was a military academy, it was the home of Maximilian and his wife, and now it is a national museum. Within the castle they have a lot of paintings, artifacts from colonial times, some great art. The museum's really great, but what I really like about this, the castle, is really the castle itself. The architecture is very intriguing. You just imagine the people living here, um, enjoying this huge space. The garden is gorgeous. And then the views, you, this is one of the highest places in Mexico City. So if you go look over that way, you actually have beautiful views overlooking Chapultepec Peck Park, as well as some of the different neighborhoods that surround um, the park. So just a really great way to experience Mexico City. Modern Art Museum here in the park. So they have some beautiful art from all sorts of different artists from all across the region. The two Frida Kahlo painting in there, which was basically worth my trip here. I love that painting and I wanted to see it. Travel Secret, the museum is actually free on Sundays which we didn't know when we showed up, but we're super happy that we did. Typically about 70 pesos, which is about $3.50. So even if you have to pay, it's still a really enjoyable use of your time and super affordable. <laughs> the Museum of Anthropology here in Mexico City. This is the number one visited museum in Mexico. It is focused on uh, pre-Columbian artifacts from the Aztec and the Mayan. So we're gonna see some really very cool stuff. One of their biggest attractions is the Aztec sun. I will show you inside. <laughs> No interesante, solo interesadas a quien desvestir. No sé si es amor o es que. 
another perspective of this courtyard so you can appreciate how grand and beautiful it is. What you have here is you have the totem with the waterfall um, where we walked in. Then as you spin around here, you actually start going into the different exhibits. So let's go check it out. So this uh, particular artifact is like, super interesting because it depicts the mythology around why they built Mexico City um, where they where they did. So basically, the mythology was that that the gods said that you need to find a place where you see a an eagle with a serpent in its mouth land on a cactus. And that happened right here in Mexico City, according to the Aztecs. So we are here in front of the Aztec sun. This is the most notable Aztec artifact in the world. They found it underneath a cathedral. So what happened was when the, the Spanish took over uh, the city, uh, they actually demolished the city and then built Mexico City on top of the Aztec ruins of the former city. Um, so when they were doing construction on the, the Mexican cathedral, they actually found this um, and uh, that's how they discovered it. So again, one of the most notable Aztec artifacts in the world. Uh, while there's still some dispute what the, uh, the, the Aztec sun, sun means, uh, most people agree that it's a depiction of the cycles of nature and those connections to the gods. So the relationship between nature people and the gods is what they say. All right, my friends, that's it for the Museum of Anthropology here in uh, Mexico City. We got to see a ton of beautifully interesting things from the Aztec and Mayan time. So I feel very connected. I feel blessed having the opportunity to see the Aztec sun. So that's a wrap. <laughs>